I grew up in Rochester, New York, in the city of Rochester, uh, not far from the railroad tracks, uh, and uh, uh, my uh, father was very involved with um, planning and zoning and uh, public works issues. So uh, I grew up riding the snowplows, actually. Um, was uh, an undergraduate at the University of Dayton in Ohio, and then uh, uh, got my graduate degree at the, uh, at the State University of New York in Albany. Uh, I've been uh, living in the Washington metro area for about 24 years now and uh, started at the local government level, worked in the private sector for a civil engineering and land use planning firm and uh, uh, was uh, lucky enough uh, to actually uh, serve two tours as a state DOT secretary in Maryland for two different governors and uh, it's a great time to be in transportation because uh, it, it, partly because of the Recovery Act, uh, people see the value in transportation infrastructure, that it's not just putting people back to work, and that's important in the short term, but it's these lasting improvements. And many of, many of these Recovery Act projects, uh, some of the bigger ones are underway now. Think about the Caldecott Tunnel in the San Francisco Bay Area. That will be serving people two or three or four generations from now. Uh, first, we want to finish the job we started in getting the recovery projects out the door with our state partners, uh, and we've had a, a fantastic partnership across the country. People feel the urgency of getting the economy restarted, getting people back to work. So we want to finish that up. We want to use that as a foundation, including the Tiger Grant process, where we had uh, uh, projects of, of regional and national significance that were awarded competitive grants based on their merits. Uh, we see uh, the Tiger Grant process uh, in particular and the Recovery Act in general as the foundation, uh, the dress rehearsal, if you will, for uh, reauthorization of our Surface Transportation Act. And uh, it, it's, it's something that uh, is, as you know, already overdue. But the kind of consistency and predictability that comes from a multi-year reauthorization, that's really what we owe our state partners. Uh, so they can think about their transportation needs and build those complicated, multi-year, very expensive projects. Priority two is maintain the infrastructure that we have. Uh, we have a real emphasis on state of good repair, on, on fix it first, and uh, by any objective measure, uh, given the funding constraints at the federal and state level, we haven't been able to do that. We need to be honest with ourselves. Uh, whether it's um, our, our bridge rehabilitation program, whether it's any other part of our transportation infrastructure, we need to do a better job of that. Um, and then the third part of it is, let's think about the future, and let's think about what will serve this nation in the long term. And in general terms, that's a balanced transportation system. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that uh, our highway network, which is the envy of the world, is maintained and improved and capacity is added where appropriate. We want to make sure our transit systems are, are maintained and improved where appropriate. We also think high-speed rail is, is an important part of it too. We are, by any objective measure, not keeping pace with the transportation needs. We know that. Uh, what we need to do is make sure we're all working together, building a consensus uh, on how to adequately fund a transportation system for the future. Uh, that is um, the, the, uh, something that Secretary LaHood lives with every waking moment. It's something that preoccupies all of us uh, because we're in this together and, and if we aren't able to accomplish that, we simply won't be turning over the transportation system to the next generation that we should be.